Meanwhile, Silver Goblin was humbling his foes in Oklahoma, but finished third at 2-5 in the Remington Park Derby just two weeks ago. So there you see Ride the Rails is at two second choice right now. Silver Goblin at three to one getting quite a bit of support. Then Bloom and Affair, there is the two to one favorite right now. And big price there on My Magical Star. Well, Chelsea Candy has joined me here now. Chelsea Strategy moves into post number five. These are all, all nominated to the Triple Crown except Bayou Bartholomew and My Magical Star. This is at a mile and an eighth, an eighth of a mile shorter than the Kentucky Derby. All Colts, all three year olds. And there's number seven, Bloom and Affair. Uh, Eddie Delahousie, who's won the Arkansas Derby twice, once with Sonny Hay Halo, who went on to win the uh, Kentucky Derby. Thank you. Here is the late speed specialist judge TC and finally the lightly raced my magical star making only his third start and the least amount of money in the bank and as he moves into line he doesn't want to go but he's going to move in there what a beautiful day here at Oaklawn Race they're off for the Arkansas Derby a beautiful start and toward the inside fly cry comes away quickly there goes Silver Goblin into the middle of the racetrack and up to take command from the far outside my magical star reversing tactics today now into second position then comes ride the rails with the red cap tucked in third by a head judge tc is fourth on the outside fly cry shuffled back into fifth position at the rail then it's bayou bartholomew sixth on the outside a gap of a length and a half and finder's wish in the green cap is next followed by Bloomin' affair on the outside and far far back concern is about 12 links behind the second last horse they move down the back stretch silver goblin leads at three parts of a length on the outside ride the rails right there within striking distance second three parts of a length away from the rail judge tc is racing third fly cry the butt long shot fourth just two and a half off the leader here comes finder's wish finding room along the inside and moving up in john frank's colors just two and a half off the leader now from between horses bayou bartholomew is next as my magical star drops back blumen affair is not firing he's second last and far back concerns still the distant trailer as they race to the top of the stretch it's silver goblin in front showing the way by two ride the rails with the red blinkers on the outside fly cry at the rail is coming on quickly into third position and now up into the second spot as they straighten away in the lane it's silver goblin in front holding on to that lead by two the butt long shot fly cry on the inside ride the rails middle of the racetrack here comes concern from the back of the pack what a late run through the stretch and to the wire concern gobbling up ground on the outside blooming affair between horses concern from last to first to win it by a long neck Blooming Affair came from second last to finish second. And on the inside, the early pace setter, Silver Goblin, held on with Dale Cordova to finish third. What a finish at 20 to 1. Concern spotted this field a dozen lengths down the back stretch, but it only counts at the finish, Chris. And he got there in 148. Well, that he did, Dave, and what a finish. We were watching Silver Goblin, the Oklahoma bred, look like he was going to steal this as the only speed in the race. And then Chelsea, all of a sudden, from the back of the pack, we look for the colors of Robert Meyerhoff, and here comes Concern, the one horse on the outside, and what a charge down the stretch. Well, he is a classic come-from-behind horse. He was so far back early on. Chris said to me, is he all right? I said, no, that's the way he runs, and look at him. Here he comes on the extreme left of your screen. Silver Goblin has the lead. Silver Goblin ran the first quarter faster than they did last year in Rocamundo's Derby, but that suited Concern just fine because now they're backing up and Concern is coming through the stretch here. Blooming Affair just to the inside of him, but it is Concern, sired by Broadbrush Dickie Small, his trainer trained Broadbrush, and he was third in the Kentucky Derby. Family affair. I wonder if Concern now is headed to Louisville. We'll find out in just a few moments. Again, this horse been on the board in all four local starts, and this was his biggest. We'll be right back with more of the Arkansas Derby. Second and during our thrifty car rental replay you will see concern gobble them all up as silver goblin on the inside drops back and Bloomin affair who was second last between horses here looks like he has a shot and these two first two finishers both carried 118 pounds but it was concern on the outside with garrett gomez who was simply sudden through the stretch with this eye appealing victory uh, which is now official chris 
Good shot there of an outstanding young rider. Garrett Gomez, he really chased after Pat Day a couple years ago here in the standings, just uh, losing by two to the king of riding here. And Garrett second in the standings again to Pat Day this year, but he is number one today. Garrett Gomez with the biggest win of his young career, the half million dollar Arkansas Derby in the colors of Robert Meyerhoff of Maryland. Silver Goblin, who set the tour into early fractions, finished third at 340. A 1-7 exact to paid $180.80. From top to bottom, it was concern. From last to first, Bloomin Affair second, Silver Goblin third, Ride the Rails finished fourth, our Bud Longshot, Fly Cry finished fifth. After that, it was Judge TC, Finder's Wish, My Magical Star, and Bayou Bartholomew was ninth and last. Charles? Yeah, you were so far back early on. Were you worried? Did you, did you lose sight of him? No. No, actually, I was closer than I figured on being. Uh, the Colt, you know, he warmed up real well, and he... And he uh, you Here know. he comes on the extreme left of the screen in the yellow soaks. We don't quite see you yet. You're just coming. The Colt, the Colt's really running good. He's, he's leveling out, and, he, and he's reaching and getting ground. And the more ground we got, just the better he's, you know, the better he's going. Um, the Colt run an exceptional race, and, and uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Small for the shot on him. And he gets to the wire just in time. It looks like a mile and a quarter horse to me. Congratulations to you all.